What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Bay Singers Disc Golf Channel. Josh here, and I'm joined with Jason Griffith. What's up, everybody? We've got some more BDGC tournament coverage for you. Please subscribe for more disc golf videos if you haven't already. We're at the 2019 Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships, which takes place in Morristown, Tennessee. We're at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course for this round two. After round one at Franklin Reno Park, uh, Brandon Brown shot the hot round at 1032 rated 14 down. Uh, Zacharyth Johnson and Chris Dickerson tied at 12 down and Johnny McRae shot 11 down. So some really good scores coming out of the Frank Lorino blue pins. Uh, check out that round if you haven't already. Uh, we're gonna start on hole three at Morristown Kiwanis Disc Golf Course, 285 feet with Prodigy Disc sponsored Brandon Brown on the tee. It's pretty much a must get to for these guys. It's like a little slight hyzer through this right gap here. Brandon was actually on our first, he won our first tournament BDGC ever hosted, the yeah, Granger Fall Classic. And that's a great shot yeah, right there. If you can hug that tree line right there, you're gonna go right to the basket. Mm -hmm. Looks to be about 15, 20 feet out. Here's Zachariah Johnson from uh, Missouri. I think it's kind of crazy when you get these pretty far out of state guys coming in. Mm -hmm. Sponsored by Innova Discs. Looking for a soft hyzer. Gets caught up a little bit early and sits down uh, in the middle of the fairway there. A little high on that release. Next up we've got Prodigy Disc sponsor Chris Dickerson from Limestone, Tennessee. Chris looks to be lining up a probably a PA3 putter shot here. Soft yep. little hyzer right around yep. the trees. Sit right down. He's in there a little bit. He's not. It's not too bad over there. Next up, we've got Johnny McRae of Latitude 64. Johnny doesn't take his time at all. He just goes. I've noticed yeah. that. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's going to do. He steps up and executes it. Zachariah kind of kind of obstructed here. Great forehand oh, yes. flick. He's putting for his three. He'll be able to save his par from there more than likely. Dickerson, as you can see, he got pinned up a little bit on the left side in these trees. Uh, just outside the circle, you can see the painted line right there. So he's got a short step putt here. Chris over near, very close to where the alternate pin for this hole is. Oh yeah. That's a good birdie to start the round. He, he, I'd say he likes to be able to get a step putt away on the first hole. Mm -hmm. Johnny McRae from a similar standpoint, but just a little bit closer in, just inside the circle. Okay. Up and in. Two birdies to start it out. We've got Brandon Brown once again. He's a regional player. He's uh, around the Knoxville, Tennessee area. So he plays a lot of these uh, tournaments in East Tennessee. Brandon was actually on our Tennessee State's coverage last year as well. Great putt. He's got to feel good coming into this round, being in the lead. Mm -hmm. still, got a, still got some heat on him from that round. Oh yeah. Zachariah taps in his three. Looks like we had uh, three threes and one, or I'm sorry, three twos and one three. Uh, Brandon Brown at 15 down now. Uh, moving on to hole four, 200 feet, just a pretty extreme hyzer here. Uh, they're gonna be playing something, trying to get some skip or something high to fade down to the left quickly. And the shortness of this hole is deceiving. Mm -hmm. Brandon got a little wide, mm -hmm. but it didn't um, hurt him too much. Almost went a little deep, but he's got a putt there. We'll see what he can do. I say for the pros, that's the problem on this hole is not going deep. Mm -hmm. Dickerson lining up the same kind of shot. Checking to see if the pin is still there. <laughs> <laughs> Straight down the Chris, Chris is uh, no stranger to these courses. He actually went a little deep. He's little still wide. inside the circle. It's like I said, the problem is wide. Mm -hmm. Johnny taking a look at it here. Mm. Uh, a little bit inside. He got knocked down early. 
Uh, it's going to be tough to get a two from there. He's probably going to be settling for a three. Mm -hmm. Zachariah, one thing uh, I failed to mention in the intro here, uh, he's actually playing this course blind. He didn't practice this course before. So. Uh. Soft little hyzer. Didn't look like he liked it out of his hand, but not bad. He went a little deep. Still very impressive to see someone uh, never play these courses and be able to come out here and confidently play like this. See what Zach can Zacharyth can do here from just outside the circle. Hmm. Every bid. Dickerson just inside. Putting with his uh, Chris Dickerson PA threes. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, a little low. That one's gonna hurt. Yeah, he's. That's not a, not a miss that we're used to from Chris. Hmm. Uh, this course uh, is mainly, uh, as Johnny McRae called it, the birdie fest. Uh, oh, yeah. Especially for these pros. Good, good putt there from Brandon. Mm -hmm. That's two in a row. Let's see what Zacharyth can do here. Great hit. That's an that's an outstanding comeback putt. There. Oh yeah. Glad to see him save par. Dickerson going to tap his in as well. Yeah, it's all about getting your putting stroke on this course for these guys. Mm -hmm. Johnny with the hat off. <laughs> <laughs> getting a little stretch in. Yeah, getting fancy with it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, Celebrating that par. There you go. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we had three pars on that hole, which is quite surprising from these top pros here. Mm -hmm. Moving on to hole five, 302 feet. Uh, not really a long hole, but they can open up a little bit more on this one than they could the first two that they've started with because it's mainly open. We'll see what Brandon can do here. Looks like he's got a putter in his hand. It's pretty much a straight shot for these guys. Mm -hmm. Some do play the hyzer over the top of the trees on the right side. Ooh. Perfect. And that is absolutely perfect right there. Now, is the path playing out of bounds on this uh, hole? Yes, out of bounds uh, path on this hole. So. It's not very far behind mm -hmm. the pin. Mm -mm. I would say maybe about 10, 15 feet yep. behind the pin. So. That is one thing they've got to uh, take into consideration when throwing here. Chris got a little high on this drive. Mm -hmm. but Unfortunately, still. he cut through that. Uh, those trees will catch almost anything. How he can't got through there with a putter, yeah. I don't understand. But. Yeah, the putter, yeah. <laughs> Johnny going the hyzer, trying to go over that tree, but not quite getting it. Mm. He sat down there. He he will have, uh, looks like, probably a jump putt from outside the circle there. See what Zachariah can do. Looks like he's lining up the high route as well. Another putter shot, yeah, wide around the tree. Cuts through it, and he's got a putt as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Johnny, as you can see, well outside the circle here. He was fortunate to get around that tree. You get behind that tree, you're gonna have a tough time. Mm -hmm. Oh, the turbo putt. Turbo, yeah. Almost mm. puts it in. Love seeing that turbo putt. Mm-hmm. It's kind of risky with that out of bounds right behind it, but yeah, it is. He knows how to do it. Zacharyth with a jump putt, step putt, Ooh, up yes. and in. That's a great birdie putt right there. Well outside the circle, puts it up and in. Let's get a backtrack and see that again. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's how you want to play this hole, right? Well. You want, to, you want to park it, but... <laughs> yeah. I mean, you want to set it yeah. under the basket like Brandon did, but, you, you know, to, if you can hit that putt, then that's that's exactly how you want to play it. You need some of these long putts early to go in to mm -hmm. give yourself confidence to shoot low at mm -hmm. this course. Mm -hmm. Dickerson just inside the circle. There you go. No problem. Good to see him make that one. You know that last putt had to be on his mind. Mm -hmm. Brandon, the absolute tap-in. Great drive from Brandon. Johnny McRae going to do the same, tap in his. 
you can see that path there that Griffith was talking about being OB just behind the basket there. So most of the time doesn't come into play on your putts, but uh, unless you get it stand up and roll. But on the drive, if you don't have distance control, it definitely can get mm -hmm. in your uh, very easily in your head. Yeah. So 270 foot hole six. Uh, this is an interesting hole here. It's like a uh, little righty hyzer shot, but you need something to glide straight before it hyzers out like. Brandon has done here. Oh, so if yeah, you play this course, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a low ceiling, mm -hmm. and then there's the, the path that is high enough to mess with you. Mm -hmm. Like along with the pad, the way you're teeing off, it's just a few factors that can mess you up. But as long as you've got that glidey hyzer, like Josh was talking about, these guys can pretty much park this hole. Absolutely. You can see the fairway on the catch cam there. There's mm -hmm. a few small holes, but you got to make sure you hit them because you can get knocked down early. And then there's a sinkhole to the left that you can very easily fall into. Mm, Zacharias lining up a tomahawk shot over the top here. I've never seen this before. And Did Jason catch it? <laughs> we, Jason didn't catch that. Shout out to my brother Jason Basinger. He didn't quite catch that one. I don't think any of us were ready for that. No. But it actually went long past the basket in the woods. Mm -hmm. and you'll see that on the upshot there. Johnny, looks like a fairway he's throwing here. He told us before the round uh, he bagged one fairway for this course. He changed his bag up quite a bit, mainly mids and putters, as you could assume. So here's Zacharias. Uh, he's deep in there. Deep, yeah. And... Moving in, great shot. To, but that's, it's going to save his par, and that's outstanding. For yeah, me. from where he was at, yes, that's some great scram scrambling. Mm -hmm. Johnny looks like he's giving this one a run. Mm. Ooh, you can catch a roll off these long putts on here. Oh, absolutely. Let's see what Brandon can do here. Looking for another two. He is on a hot streak. Absolutely. I mean, coming off of that round, he now has a course record at rotary blue pins. And then, mm -hmm. you know, feeding off of that and just playing outstanding. Great par save from Zacharias. Johnny tapping in his three. And Dickerson's going to do the same. Is it two or three? Birdie. Oh, yes, that's a, yeah, that's a birdie. <laughs> okay, so it uh, looks like uh, Brandon Brown is four down through four. Mm -hmm. Stretching his lead out. He's 18 down right now. Um, moving on to hole number seven, 318 feet. This one is uh, a lefty hyzer shot. Most of these guys are going to be going with a flick or a turnover. Depending on the player here, Brandon looks to be lining up the forehand. It's a pretty, pretty easy for him for these guys. As long as you, as long as they make it through the gap, they're gonna have a shot. Mm -hmm. Gonna have a putt. Hook it around these trees. He's wanted to push a little bit. He's got a putt down there. Mm -hmm. Now these trees on the right side there have grown up quite a bit in years past. So, or in recent years rather, um, you have to take it a lot wider than you used to. Mm -hmm. You get caught up over there. You're gonna have a tough time mm -hmm. getting a two. Dickerson with a flick, heading straight towards Jason. <laughs> Had to jump out of the way. Yeah, a little wide on that one. Mm -hmm. Turn it over a little bit. See what Zacharias can do here. Also lining up the forehand. Nice and wide if he's got the distance on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, not quite as wide. Like, as I'd mentioned, that... Those trees have grown out quite a bit, which, you know, this him playing this course blind, he yep. doesn't know that, but he didn't know how wide you really have to play these. Yeah, he played a little too a little too close to that tree line. Mm -hmm. Johnny with the turnover. Beautiful turnover. That's one of my favorite shots to see in disc golf. It's just a nice, smooth turnover. Mm -hmm. Outstanding drive. They're so fun to throw. <laughs> when you throw them right, he throws them right a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Zacharias mm. gave himself a chance on that putt. A little roll down, but he'll be all right. Like Griffith said, over there on that right side, it's uh, it's just jail over there. Uh, this You really want to go wide off the tee. Dixon went a little bit too wide. Went a little bit straighter than he wanted to. It's still a putt he can make, though. Mm -hmm. The downhill on this putt is what makes it a little bit harder. Mm, mm. Almost puts it in. Love that little soft Anheuser putt to give it a run, but not let it go too far past the basket. We saw several of those on the round one coverage. Like I said, if you hadn't seen that, make sure you check that out as well. Johnny's having to bend down a little bit. He's a little obstructed. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of these low-hanging branches right inside the circle, but... You know, that's part of the course, so uh, that's how we have to play it. I kind of I dig it because it gives it a challenge, because otherwise, you know, you get that close, you need a little bit of a challenge for these guys. Now see, like we mentioned, the low-hanging branches, th these yeah, right are here now, definitely yeah. in his way here. On this side, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. they, need to, they need to be gone. See what Johnny can do. This is to save his par. Oh, oh, hits the chains but falls out. He's going to be taking a bogey. It's not no, what you we, want to do. You don't expect any bogeys on this course from these uh, top professionals. Really, even from casual players, mm -hmm. to be honest. You take a four on this, you feel pretty bad. Mm -hmm. BB, uh, Brandon Brown, as they call him, BB locally, Damn. able to make the putt again. Is he the only two? Yes. Yep. Man, he's on fire. Mm -hmm. He's showing, uh, you know, how we got that course record at Rotary. Wish we had got his round on film. We didn't quite get it. But we had a great card for the first round as well. Check it out. Zach Melton, Chris Dickerson, Johnny McCray, Matt Dollar, and Dutch Napier. So go check that out if you haven't already. Johnny, unfortunately, tapping in a bogey four here. Bet you he wants to rip that basket right out. Right now. <laughs> Okay, as you see there, BB with the only two. He's uh, 19 down now, stretching that lead out even further. Hole eight, 333 feet, labeled as a par four. I know you're going to disagree with that in the comments, but, uh, you know, as I said in the round one coverage, H.B. Uh, Clark, the tournament director, was also the course designer. He labeled it as a par four. It played as a par four during the tournament, so that's why we have it listed as a par four here. The pars really don't matter, really. It's just whoever shoots the lowest mm -hmm. on the hole. But this is a, uh, looks like both these guys are shooting for uh, turnovers on this hole. Mm -hmm. Peter, with the flick that uh, Chris has, he would be going for a flick. As you saw, BB got knocked down quite a bit early, so this is Ooh. more than likely going to be his first non-two of, uh, of the round. Dickerson also got knocked down a little bit earlier than he wanted. He got through, though. Mm -hmm. He'll have a putt down there. Yeah, you definitely, as high as he went, you can get down, get knocked down a lot earlier. So he's very fortunate to get through a lot of that. Zacharias a little too, a little too early, mm -hmm. that turnover. As I mentioned, playing this course blind, this is one of those holes that, you know, if, if you don't know the line, this is a hard one. And an absolutely beautiful turnover from John E. Oh, yeah. If he didn't get those trees and skip up to the left, he'd be inside the circle. That's a great drive right there. Yes, that's a dream drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sit down. Shout out to uh, Morristown local Robert Smith, who actually aced this hole on a backhand turnover. He didn't get to see it, though. <laughs> no, no you don't, he didn't see it, but it was in the basket when he got down there. BB Brandon? smart to just yes. lay it up and take his three. I mean, it's still going to count as a, a birdie on the scorecard. So, you know, he obviously wanted the two. He wanted to keep keep his streak going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Chris has got a putt here. Let's see what he can do. I assume he's going with a little Anheuser soft putt. Oh. Mm. Gave it a run. Yeah. It's a dangerous hole to give a run on, but these guys got to take their chances mm -hmm. trying to win a championship. Johnny almost ended up on hole nine's tee pad over there. Oh! And that's an outstanding putt right there. Eagle two, I know you disagree with that, but you know what? I'm calling that's it an eagle. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm calling it an eagle. 
Uh, all right, let's get another BDGC backtrack. We got to see this one again. Just a great putt. I mean, mm -hmm. a two on this hole. Uh, not a lot of people are going to be getting this two. So look what he's looking at down there. Oh yeah, and he misses that putt, and he's down in the sinkhole. That's a great putt. Dickerson tapped in his three there. Looks like Zacharias is going to do the same. Mm -hmm. No shame in a three on this. Uh, you know, like Griffith said, the roll away potential is very high on this one. And when you roll, you roll far. You roll about 100 feet downhill. So Turns a three into a five. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've done that more than my fair share of times. So. More than I want. We're going on to hole number nine, 229 feet. Johnny McRae first up on the tee after the outstanding two on hole eight. Soft little putter shot straight through the gap. He turned it over a little bit more than he wanted, but he has a putt. Mm -hmm. Basket's a little bit uh, left of where he was. I'd say he's maybe about 30 feet uh, to the right of the basket there. Camera doesn't do this hole justice. This is a cool little cavern hole. Mm -hmm. Like, if you ever come to play, you'll it just it's a good feeling hole. Absolutely, it's like over a valley and then back uphill. Just a fun hole. And BB giving it a run at the basket, Ooh. put it right under it. This is the most aced hole in town. Mm -hmm. Like for how how small the line is, mm -hmm. it's crazy. But just all the shots filter straight to the basket mm -hmm. on this hole. BDGC's own uh, Josh Basinger, myself actually aced this one. So <laughs> <laughs> Dickerson. Right, right, the basket. right underneath it. That's what you want. Now coming in here blind, it's kind of hard to know what kind of shot you need mm -hmm. to shoot. Absolutely, but he is heading straight for it. Yes. Mm. <laughs> About one foot to the left, and that was an ace. Yeah, that was chain high. It skipped back quite a bit. It's still a putt he can make though. Mm -hmm. Mm, but he doesn't. Yeah. There's also, we didn't mention it on the drives, but you can see that path up there. Uh, the walking path is actually OB on this as well. So you also have to have distance control off of the tee. Don't come into play too much, mm -hmm. ever though. Especially with these guys, most of them are throwing a putter and they know how to get just that perfect amount of glide on it and sit down right near the basket. That was a great putt from Johnny. Yeah. Seeing these other guys get so close mm -hmm. and he not, for him to get that putt, it's got to feel good. Mm -hmm. Brandon and Dickerson tapping in their birdies. Zacharias getting a little bit in his head there. That one, he definitely wanted that too. I mean, that went from a one to a three real quick. So mm -hmm. that's unfortunate there. Moving on to hole 10, 224 foot. This one, uh, the left side gap is actually the intended route, but the uh, there's no Mando in play, so these guys are going with this turnover flick. Wow. And Johnny almost puts it in. Went That's about it. 20 feet past it. It's a hard shot. This is a very, very hard shot. It's, this is another one where the camera just doesn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. that, that line is tight. It really is, and those low-hanging branches can knock you down really early. And this is, uh, on the right side there, is the sinkhole that you saw at the bottom of hole eight and on the right side of hole nine, so. Yep. Yeah, BB, uh, he actually, it, it was almost gonna be right in the circle, but it hit that tree and skipped over to the right. I did it. A little bit, you'll see where he's at there. It's kind of hard to tell from that angle. Chris has thrown this shot plenty of times. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the intended fairway is through the left, straight down through the tee pad, but these guys are having none of it. Mm -hmm. Good shot from Dickerson. He's probably about 15 feet out. Zacharias must be thinking, what kind of hole is this? Is that where, <laughs> yeah. you know? He's going with the turnover flick as well. It's gotta be a fun shot for these guys to do. Oh, yeah. And wow, almost aced, almost an, aced another it. one, almost back-to-back -back aces. Yeah, that's two holes in a row that he's almost aced. And mentioned once again, playing this course blind, so mm -hmm. that's just outstanding. Loved seeing, you know, the Torn pros can do that. Just come to a course they've never played. It is a short course, but, you know, 
being that close, almost two aces in a row, that's outstanding. Maybe mm. you see he just outside the circle. That really, that really. Yeah, it kicked yeah. him back. He was going to be up there, but unfortunately got kicked back. It really gave him an obstructed putt. Mm -hmm. Dickerson about 15 feet. But is uh, elevated here as he's downhill from the basket, but it's Chris Dickerson. No problems there. There you go. Does he always wear camo? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen him in camo more than anything. <laughs> Zacharias getting that too. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you could see off the tee if he almost aced it again. I'm not sure if he knows that as well. Hopefully he'll check out the coverage. I'll make sure he gets a link to it. I'll tag him when I post it so he can see how close he was coming on some of these holes. He probably didn't even know. So was that's two holes in a row? Mm -hmm. that, well, no, not two holes in a row. Yeah, hole two. nine. Yeah, two I'm, talk, uh, I'm talking about Brandon not getting a two. Oh, oh, he got yeah, a two yeah. on nine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to hole number 11 now, 214 feet. Uh, it's another, as you can see, Johnny lining up a second forehand in a row. And he doesn't do the forehand often, but it wow. obviously works Why out. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is a very hard any turnover flick. Oh, like, yeah. That is very hard to do. And he says he can't throw forehands. <laughs> yeah, he threw one of the hardest shots you can throw forehand. Mm -hmm. That was a great shot. Dickerson lining up a little bit higher, but the same line. Yep. And that worked out as well. Remember Johnny after this, uh, after the last hole, he called it a uh, two-finger birdie. <laughs> two-finger birdie. <laughs> so, okay. Zacharyth, as you saw here, had to take a look at the hole. Once again, playing it blind. Yeah. See what he can do here. Lining up, following the same route the other guys threw, I would assume. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, and another, almost another ace. That that's is crazy. three holes in a row that he almost put it in the basket with, within two or three feet. Mm -hmm. So it's just outstanding. I love seeing that level of play. Brandon's going to be going for the same kind of turnover flick. Like Griffith said, you know, I'm a lefty, so it's a little different for me, but this, this angle on a forehand is very hard to hit. To, oh. get, to get it to pan out right. Mm -hmm. And get the distance right. It's just uh, it's another hole where you'd have to be there to know. Mm -hmm. BB got knocked down real early, unfortunately. Jump puff from about 120 feet. He'd be struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. He yeah, started real hot. I mean, with the first mm -hmm. round and then the first what was it? Six holes. Six or seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was birdie for Dickerson. Hopefully Brandon can can this putt here and save us three. Mm. Dickerson like wanting to show off that uh, Prodigy disc shirt there. <laughs> <laughs> Two Prodigy players on the screen here. Let's see what BB can do. We had to think about that putt a lot. Mm -hmm. That tree must have been in his way. Oh yeah, for sure. That's a great par save also. Another two finger two. There you go. <laughs> Zacharyth tapping his in as well and that's it for this front nine of round two as you can see Brandon Brown Chris Dickerson at seven down for the round Johnny McRae at five down for the round and Zacharyth Johnson at four down for the round for the total of the tournament Brandon Brown still in the lead right now on this card at 21 down Got a few of my favorite shots of the round here as we do the outro here. I want to say once again, huge thank you to my brother Jason Basinger for doing the uh, catch cam. He always does a great job on the catch cam. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Griffith, for joining me on the commentary. No problem. Uh, if you want to support our efforts in any way, we have BDGC stamped uh, Innova discs and dynamic discs. We have can topper minis and shirts, stickers. Uh, contact us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Basinger's Disc Golf Channel TN. Same on Instagram, and if you want to support our efforts on Patreon, it's slash BDGC. So thanks for watching, everybody. Once again, huge thank you to all the pros that let us film you, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.
Coming in, coming in, Chris. Nice eye, Johnny. Happen to be standing there. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> 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 okay. Going fast. <laughs> 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 so Adam, we didn't know which way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.